The following program contains language, images, and or subject matter that may be objectionable to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Direct from Albany, New York, it's time for The New Media Zone! With your host... This week's new film and DVD releases. And the chance to win free movie tickets with the poster pair game. And now your host, Ed and Dave. Here we go. Hello and welcome to the new media zone. Ed and Dave here. Ed and Dave with you. Another exciting episode, the fourth episode. We're starting over. This is episode four, Dave. It is. Uh, since this is a new series. Episode the, four, day one. <laughs> the new media zone. What do we have? Uh, we should mention what uh, is going on on the show right off. Right off? Well, we're going to do some films. We're going to show you some clips of some upcoming films that you, you may want to see. Alpha. Crazy Rich... Can, you can't name a movie that, but I can say it because it's the title. Crazy Rich Asians. Mile. That's it. Those uh, are the three films. There's another one thrown in there. I don't know if you have it somewhere. I don't have it. I threw in the puppet movie. It wasn't on the one... It's that's not the one with a lot of yarn, is it? Yes. I don't see it. What is it? There it is. What the, is it? The Happy Time Murders. Happy Time Murders. You have a clip for that? Yes. Oh, so we have four. <laughs> and it is the red band clip. Oh, no. Oh. And, uh, and you can show that. I think we can show it. I can dub out any uh, dirty language. Okay. There's something that happens at the end of the scene. Uh -oh. You'll be the judge whether we can show that part or not. All right. All right. But there you go. Those are the films we'll be looking at on today's show. Okay, let's start. Uh, let's start off early. Let's not uh, jab or gab about uh, you know local. But then we're going to have to jab or gab at the end. Right. Well, I ask you more about how to retire. But go ahead. Okay. Are we starting with Alpha? Am I doing Alpha? Yeah, do Alpha. I'll wait, do Alpha. Wait. Oh. oh, Ed. It's all paused and ready to go. Is it? Is it going to work? Look at that. Look at that. All right. Alpha stars Cody Smith McPhee. Who are these people? And Johans Hokor and. Johannesson and Leonor Varela. Jeez, I almost <laughs> wish for that other guy there. What was his name? Uh, Vel <laughs> Graham Varshar. All right. This is an epic adventure set in the last Ice Age, Ed. Hmm. Alpha tells a fascinating, visually stunning story hmm. that shines a light on the origins of man's best friend. Because as you know, you know the writers were there. While on his first hunt with his tribe's most elite group, a young man is injured and must learn to survive alone in the wilderness. Reluctantly taming a lone wolf abandoned by its pack, the pair learn to rely on each other and become unlikely allies, enduring countless dangers and overwhelming odds in order to find their way home before winter arrives. This is rated PG-13 Ed for some intense peril. Hmm. And it's from Sony Pictures. This is like 1 million B.C. without the fur bikini or the dinosaur hours. Rawr. There are some dangerous creatures in there, but... Did you go see that new Jurassic World, Ed? Yes, I did. What did you think? I didn't go. I'm not gonna. I don't think you would like this one. This is more like the second one, The Lost World, mm -hmm. where there's uh, poachers coming to take the dinosaurs off the island before okay. the, the uh, volcano explodes. See, I think the Jurassic Park film series has gone like the Jaws film series. Each one <laughs> slightly worse than the one before. Well, the last one was pretty good. I didn't like the last one. You didn't like that, so yeah. I don't think you would like the new one. Well, I'm not going to see it, because it doesn't have a giant monkey. Because that's what I like, the yes. big monkeys. When we, is the uh, Godzilla and, Go and King Kong coming out? Well, we have uh, Godzilla, King of the Monsters first. Oh, dear. Didn't we just have uh, Godzilla? We had Godzilla. We didn't see a lot of them. 
and that Brian Cranston one as we come back here. And then uh, it will be King Kong versus Godzilla. So is King Kong going to have like Mothra and other uh, creatures in it? Uh, the next Godzilla will have Mothra and, and Rodan. It? Oh, when's that coming out? At 2020? Uh, might be next year. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. And so, oh, yeah. Um, I believe um, uh, in a week or two before we started taping again here, the Rampage came out, which we just saw, Dave. Yes. A couple months and ago. That's out on Blu ray. It's out on Blu ray already. But I think it did fairly well. Yeah, it did good. You know, The Rock, you throw him in there and you throw a big monkey or your big bil burning building. There you go. And you got a movie. You have a, The Rock with King Kong or you have The Rock with the Towering Inferno. Mix oh, and that's match. Right. That's right. Match them up. There you go. All right. Uh, you want, am I doing the, the Asians? <laughs> you should do that. And I'm going to see if you do any of your trademark. I do enjoy Julie Chen, so let's just... Oh, uh, uh, she's not in this one. All right, Crazy <laughs> Rich Asian stars Constance Wu as Rachel Chu. <laughs> Henry Golding as Jama Chan. Crazy Rich Asians follows <laughs> a native of New Yorker Rachel Chu <laughs> as she accompanies her longtime boyfriend Nick Young to his best friend's wedding in Singapore. That's a beautiful city in Singapore. Oh, Ever been there? No, I haven't. Oh, Have it's beautiful. There? No. No. Excited about visiting Asia for the first time, but nervous about meeting Nick's family. Rachel is unprepared to learn that Nick has neglected to mention a few key details about his life. It turns out he's not only the scion, Ed. Mm. He's a scion. Is that how you say that? Is it scion? That wasn't one of those robots from Battlestar Galactica. Was I it? don't know. What is a scion? I don't know. <laughs> He's one of the he's a scion of one of the country's wealthiest families, but also one of its most sought after bachelors. Ooh, this is the Asian version of coming to America. That's what it sounds like. Being on Nick's arm puts a target on Rachel's back with jealous socialites and worse, Nick's own disapproving mother taking aim. Ready PG thirteen for some suggested content and Rangridge. Studio is Warner Brothers at. Hmm. So we have a disapproving mother, a woman falling in love, I guess, with someone that she's unaware of is extremely wealthy because he doesn't want them uh, to want him just for his money, Ed. Yeah. Want to, uh, please, I want you to write me for being me. <laughs> this was based on a book, a very popular book. Was it? And this woman is in, uh, I'm sure you've seen, uh, Fresh Off the Boat. I have not seen that. But I do want some General Tso's chicken right now. <laughs> we had some, I don't know who makes it, some nice frozen Chinese food. It tastes almost as good really? as the, uh, it comes in a little box type thing. Hmm. No need to uh, go and wait 15 minutes anymore. You, nah, wait, you wait two minutes. You call. Right. And just call and get in your car you'll be there it'll be done right i mean it is a chinese place uh, the, literally a uh, quarter of a mile from my house i call i hang up i get in the car and it's ready and it's, it's good it's so delicious <laughs> i do love that good chinese food it's actually uh, faster than some of the mcdonald's these days you're going through mm. get your very get your fried rice your egg roll and if you're feeling particularly randy <laughs> You have some of them, uh, what do they call those, uh, wontons? The yeah. fried wontons. Fried wontons, mm. not wonton soup. No, the fried wontons that you dip in that delicious uh, sweet and sour sauce. I mm. get uh, sweet and sour chicken and the f pork fried rice. So I usually get either of those, and both of those were sold out at Walmart the other <laughs> night. Only uh, shrimp uh, fried rice, which oh. I don't like. Well, have a, you have a thing uh, about the, the uh, our our sea friends, our ocean friends? You don't like what's that? The shrimp. I don't. No, I don't like. I like tuna. <laughs> I don't like shrimp or lobster or any of that. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Am I reading one? You want to do it? I can do it. I just have to do this first. You have to do mile. Is what there you're doing. There we go. Mile twenty-two. Is that what it is? Oh, mile twenty-two. I'm. I totally. Uh, didn't bother with the number, but go ahead. And I believe this is a red band trailer, so I don't know what we're going to see. 
or what you're going to see in the final product. Well, I'm going to watch it. Was that John Malkovich? <laughs> Couldn't Let's see. He's not listed here. Mark Wahlberg, Lauren Cohen, and Ronda Rousey Ooh. in a visceral modern thriller from the director of Lone Survivor. Mark Wahlberg stars as James Silva, an operative of the CIA's most highly prized and least understood unit. Aided by a top secret tactical command team, Silva must retrieve and transport an asset who holds life-threatening information to mile 22 for extraction before the enemy closes in. I was getting bored reading this. How is the visuals, Dave? Are they any um, it's, no, it's just a typical film. Just a typical... What are they? I, I just read it up. Is it CIA or I something? Know. I was falling asleep too. <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, I think, and Wahlberg was in Lone Survivor, I believe, also. Was he? Yeah, I believe he was. And, and what I is this one? Uh, Mile 22. Mile is this 22. a sequel of some sort? I don't think so. Lone Survivor, I think, may have been based on a true story. That is John Malkovich is. with a lovely hairpiece. <laughs> Anybody else in here? I haven't seen Lauren Cohen, who you know from The Walking Dead. No, I don't know her from The Walking uh, Dead. Well. And who was the other one? I don't know. You got the female? Do I still have? I think them? you have the paper. Oh. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, Ronda Rousey. Have Ronda Rousey. Her? Oh no, I haven't seen her. There's no females in here yet. Well, if there's a fighting scene, she'll be involved in that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, at, Look at that intense visceral <laughs> action, Ed. <laughs> That's tactical fighting. Oh, the yep, it is John Malkovich. Mm. Failure is not an option. If we get him out. Well, a lot we'll of good action for the summer. <laughs> it's action. That's all we shooting. want. All you gotta do is go down to Albany if you want to oh. see some shooting. Oh, there you go. Hmm. And uh, I threw in at the last minute because where I do my uh, read, the checking, mm -hmm. did not have the puppets. Now, I don't know if they moved the puppets <laughs> because of the uh, Sesame Street uh, trouble. They oh, wanted yes. them to remove uh, their trailers. I think we might have the trailer with the uh, Sesame Street uh, references in it. But you see who directed this? Uh, by oh the, no, he's one of the one uh, of the uh, is it an offspring of uh, Brian Henson. Yeah, the son oh. directed this, so uh, he knows about puppets. Mm -hmm. Whether he knows about the <laughs> doing other things, I don't know. But let's take a look here. Well, are you reading this? You read this one. All right. You have fun with the puppets. No sesame, mm -hmm. Ed. All Street. Mm. The Happy Time Murders <laughs> is a filthy comedy. <laughs> <laughs> set in the seedy underbelly of Los Angeles where puppets and humans coexist. Two clashing detectives with a shared secret. One human, Melissa McCarthy, one puppet, are forced to work together again to solve the brutal murders of uh, the former cast of A. That's as far as it goes. He cuts <laughs> off there. Oh, there was a little more which you could make out, but you can't as it's right. printed out. Okay, well, it's of the former cast. Here's the puppets here. See, this to me looks kind of humorous. Is it? It's got more production value than Let My Puppets Come, oh. though, which was a 70s classic. Right. Oh, it looks which like didn't really need production value when you think <laughs> no. about it. And, uh, Damn cops I've ever seen. Let's see if this is a red band trailer, so we'll see if there's any violence. That or... wasn't Tone Loke, was it? It kind of looked like him. Did it? And you had McHale there. Uh, I forget his first name. Joel, Joel McHale. Oh, look at oh. that. Oh, mm -hmm. no. Oh. <laughs> Better than Cool World, where animated characters and humans were together. Do it. <laughs> I think uh, I think this, this looks moderately entertaining to me. I won't go to a theater to see it, <laughs> but I will. Uh, this might be one I would go to with my movie pass, where I see a free movie a day. This might okay. be a good movie to see there. 
Yeah, that's not Tone Loke. No. Was that Maya Rudolph? <laughs> oh, no! Did I just think? Oh! Oh, no. oh <laughs> <laughs> Say they are doing that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why is it anytime you have puppets and humans, that uh, act is, uh, has to be demonstrated? <laughs> Happy Time oh. Murders. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know. Can we show that? There's nothing really descriptive. There's like some stuff flying around. Oh, my God. That's the best <laughs> thing I've ever seen. I got I got I might have to. I might now, go. Now you might have to I go. I might go. Oh, my if God. If you had a choice between the Meg and the puppets, you might go I'm for the puppets. i see the puppets. Puppets now. Jeez. That is awful. Oh, oh God. I'm such a low life. Oh. All right, what do we got? <laughs> Is it time for DVD releases? DVD releases, and we're right on time here. Well, we're off a minute, I guess, right? Yes. We should have an extra minute. Somebody going. has to get up and leave the set the last minute of the show. Or we'll just run the extra long credits because there's going to be an early buzz. That's all right. Okay, coming out on uh, DVD, Blu-ray. All right. All that stuff this week. It's the Avengers Infinity War. Yeah, I don't care. The big Avengers movie of the year, which made a ton of dough, but still fell behind Black Panther, Dave. Oh, what did Black Panther make? Like a billion? It's number three, I think, now. And I think the Avengers is four. Now, this is a special um, steelbook version of The Howling. Oh, that was from, let me guess. <laughs> was that 79, 80? I think it was 81. Okay. That was with we, D. Wallace. Yes. That was good. And was Christopher Lee in that? No. Yes. He was in the horrible he was in the, second the one. The second one. Oh, that's right. Well, Steederba. Your, your sister is a werewolf. With Sybil Danning. This mm. one was, I think Dennis Dugan was in this this one. I don't know Dennis Dugan. I believe he was. Uh, that was good. No, I like the Howling. Yeah, I don't know if we need a steel book. I'm oh. not thrilled. I buy collectible versions of things, but these steel really? books are not, uh, don't thrill me. Patrick McNee was in it. <laughs> and here is a steel book of Life Force. Oh, only good one scene is the only good scene <laughs> in that one. Well, it was a few, any scene that Matilda May was in, hmm. was the nude vampire. And here's a look at these lovely steel books. Would that hmm. make you go out and buy that for the third time? <laughs> No. <laughs> because it's in a steel container? It would not. Which are usually dented, the ones I have gotten. I would not. Life Force was not as awful as it was made out to be when it came out. It wasn't... I mean, the acting was pretty bad. But I think the overall story wasn't awful, and the effects were pretty good. And Matilda was very good. Good uh, practical effects. It was pretty good. It wasn't, it wasn't bad. I think uh, three beers... <laughs> On an empty stomach, it's much better. That's I think I may have seen that in the theater as a double feature where you went to see a film and they had a, a special preview. Mm -hmm. And that's what we saw there. And uh, finally here is from the uh, CB craze of the 70s. Oh. It's the Great Smoky Roadblock. Now, you remember such uh, films as Smokey and the Bandit and Convoy. Convoy. But this is one that starred Henry Fonda. Oh, as the trucker <laughs> and Susan Sarandon, Robert Englund, and Eileen Brennan. What year was that? Well, oh, this has got to be like 77. Because when did uh, Henry Fonda die? He was died in the 80s, early 80s. Yeah, yeah right after that. Uh, the Golden Pond. Yeah, 81. So that was the low end of the CB films, if there hmm. is a such a thing. <laughs> Well, Smokey and the Bandit was that is entertaining. Good. And then, you know, from there they go down. Convoy. Yeah. And was Convoy with the Rubber Duck? Yes, based on the song oh, God, with right. Chris Christopherson, Chris I believe, Christopherson and Ally McGraw. And Jerry Reed was in Smokey and the Bandit. Yes. Okay. And he sang that hit song. He's bound and down, load him up and drug him. That was the best we part. And they, luckily they played that every three seconds yes. as they were, the trucks are driving. We Okay, we're here on the new... Watch old bandy run. <laughs> All right. 
I think I last time you sang that, I found it and dubbed it in Did right you? behind you. I, I think I still have that. So uh, we have a few minutes. Oh, the recent deaths. deaths. Let's do deaths. Recent deaths since, you know. Are we showing anything over this? Yes. The, okay. uh, the actor will be portrayed. I think next time uh, we tape, we will have the actors that we can view here, but we did not have time with set construction to do all the production that you've come to enjoy and love at home. Yes. Uh, but here is a sad uh, passing Tab Hunter. Oh. Tab. You know what was particularly poignant about that is I recently watched a documentary on him. Mm-hmm. Um, and the man was not bitter about his uh, loss of acting because he was, you know, the good-looking kid mm -hmm. of the 50s and 60s. Had a lot of the hit songs, too, by the way. Played in Damn Yankees, was uh, played opposite uh, John Wayne in some films. Or fil I'm going to look at this camera, just in case. Played okay. opposite John Wayne and um, had some big, uh, big film, a lot of war films. But he was just a good-looking kid, and they didn't take him seriously, and his career dried up, and he didn't really care. No. And he was a homosexual. Actor. Oh, no, not yes. Tab Hunter. Tab, you did not know this? <laughs> I probably did. He was I... a homosexual. Huh. But the interesting thing was... He was not conflicted about it. It didn't really... Uh, I, mean, I don't want to say it didn't bother him. It did bother him. Not that he was a homosexual, but yes. that he couldn't yes, let I anyone know. Because back in the 50s and 60s, that was career suicide. So you couldn't say it. Although he did have an affair with Anthony Perkins. Ed. Oh, no. He did. Anthony uh, Perkins was gay? He, you didn't know him? Oh, Anthony Perkins. Oh, Ed. He was, he yeah, was, I thought he was a bi bisexual, bisexual human. That's yeah. what he was. Yeah, that's but they right. had a little fling going on there. Hmm. And then, uh, you know, uh, Tab Hunter's career dried up. He came back in Polyester yes. in 1981, did a few more films, kind of spoofed his image, um, and had fun with that, and then decided, that's it, I'm done. Hmm. And was not bitter about it. Um, had a great life uh, with horses and all this other kind of good stuff. It was just kind of sad, because I just watched the documentary, and then he passed. And I was like, oh, here's a man who wasn't bitter about losing his career, was very happy and had a great life. And it's just, it's sad, Ed, that he had to go. 86, though. He yeah. was with us a while. But I saw the documentary. He, it was when he was like 83, 84. He's a man looked 60. He looked great. Mm. He looked great. I don't have what uh, took him out here. Probably just... Uh, he had a blood clot. Oh, no. That went, as he was walking home, oh. uh, traveled to his lung. Huh. Okay, here's another one. I didn't know the uh, musician, but I do know the Bay City Rollers, Dave. Oh, yeah. S-A-T-U-R-D-A-Y. <laughs> Night! <laughs> Dave knows their one-hit song, and I think they had the cover of I Only Want to Be With You. Oh, yeah, they did that, too. Yep. Uh, other than that, I don't know, but this is Alan Longmuir, 70. Mm. That seemed old to me. Because they seem like a young band, and here they are. There must have been uh, some older folks in there. But they well, all when, had well, when were they? Weren't they in the late, weren't they in the 75. 70s? Okay, so 40-some years ago, yeah. he was in his 20s. It seems like uh, they're too young to be 70, but, you know, they were probably 50, was 15 years older than us. So while we were in Sand Creek, he was singing uh, Saturday Night or whatever they were singing. Yeah. So, you know, it's kind of shocking. But uh, our, our idols and Bay City <laughs> Rollers was a big idol. Is uh, They're getting older yes, now. Yes, and so are we, Ed. And Anthony Bourdain. Oh, couldn't stand he, him. <laughs> he really couldn't stand him. Found him to be an arrogant oh, no. SOB. Huh. Some of the things that he said about other people. I, I thought he championed other cultures and He food. did. He did, but he and he was also a kind of a, a kind of an arrogant person. Not that I mean, I'm, he was as far as what I've read, you know, very giving to many people, charities and such. And yeah, you know, the other cultures, but could be kind of a jerk. I never watched his shows. I, no. I watched like one or two of them, and I said, eh, I can't watch this. But I was shocked that that, that uh, to to hear that. Um, Jerry Marin. Oh. We represent the <laughs> Lollipop Guild. Lollipop Guild. He was the Lollipop Guild, and he was only 15 at the time, which is why uh, he's the last to go, I guess. 98. Mm. Now, every other few months or years, it seems like they say this is one of the last. Well, maybe they said one of the last, but this is the last. 
of the Munchkins, right? Mm -hmm. I believe it is. There can't be any more. Well, there shouldn't be any more. That's it. What about Kate McFadden? Uh, who was that? I don't know. Wasn't she? Was that? Is that the right name? Did she pass on? Who yeah, is it? She, yeah, she uh, was like a uh, fashion. Oh, the suicide fashion yes, was it? Yeah, yeah there is was that her name, McFadden? I don't think it was, oh. but maybe it was. Kate something. Uh, yes, another tragic suicide. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, we have to get to the game. I can't believe it Bye. because we didn't get the. We, there is still the whole stack of uh, DVDs we're going to go through to talk about them if we need to. Uh, just uh, have something to talk about, and then you decide if you want one, which you do have one. Did you take I have Gia. Gia? You have Gia yeah, with you over there. to take with you. <laughs> so we did have one, but right now we have to try and give away some movie passes, and we'd like to have one winner on our first taping on the new media oh, zone. You, you oh, do I do that. it. Yes, yes, I do this You're part now. You're not used now. to that still. No. You our used roles to do have this. changed, Ed. This is very <laughs> shocking. Go ahead. Who do we got? We have v Pamela Barr Harder again, who mm -hmm. we had on the first show. And she says two and three she's going to pick. All right. Two and three. I'll now, while you do that, I'm going to... You're going to move that back a minute. I'm going to move it back a minute. All right. Move the table. You okay. Can, it's okay. It's all about... All right. Don't trip and cause harm. <laughs> what she, What does she want? Two and three? Two and three. You're going to yeah. walk in front of my camera? No. Nope. Don't, don't do that. Don't walk in front of my shot. Can you reach? I can reach and I All have right. to turn. More of those uh, production problems. Yep. There okay. we go. Two. Uh oh, I think they're all going. Uh, there's two. Those will be tightened for the next oh, time. There you go. Two. And. Go! Oh! How exciting is that, folks? You know, one thing I forgot is to bring the poppers out. Oh, we we're, we're don't have poppers. But that's Pamela Bar Harder, the uh, first winner of the new media zone. <laughs> I have to get my uh, wrench out to hey. tighten those up. But uh, I have to, I'll write this down here because I handle the sending out of tickets now. Oh, that's right. Uh, so Pamela Bar Harder on shelf four, and we send them out then so she doesn't, you know. Now, if you'd like to win, just like Pamela does, and who doesn't want to win two free movie passes yeah. when it's like 30 bucks for two people? It, it's bad now. Oh. Send an email to Mediazone95 at gmail.com. That's Mediazone95 at gmail.com. Two numbers from one to six. We select your entry. We reveal it's behind the numbers you give us, and if they match, just like Pamela's did, you win two free movie passes. There you go. Very good. I'm glad to see that on the, uh, the Lint board, but we did have a winner. Mm. That one needs to be tightened. The rest are fine. There's holes. Uh, just that number one. Need there's little screws and things. Oh, there it is. Does it feel loose, Dave? It does. It's very loose, Ed. I'll have to see if I uh, can slide something in there because we can't take those apart. You'll notice the new uh, uh, game board over here is a lot smaller. That was another thing I was doing in the few you know past couple of months. I had to streamline that game board mm -hmm. from the thing that was about four feet yes. <laughs> with light in the back and just one pole. The very, and that's all that came apart. The rest of it kind of broke. So that's all we had to work with. And I had to put a few braces in there, but it works fine, other than a few limp things there. Mm, that's always a problem. <laughs> it is. A, so uh, we hope you enjoyed uh, the past uh, four shows and this tonight's show. We still have a minute and 20 seconds. Ed. We have a minute, yes. So this um, retirement thing. Yes. So you fill out some papers, you go down to the, you make an appointment, and you chat with some dude. <laughs> yeah. Or dudette. Yeah. And they tell you. You pick your date out, he writes the date down, mm -hmm. they send it to the uh, your office's, uh, what, I forget these terms now. Human resources? Human resources up there. They let everybody know you pick a date, so you, you want a party, you don't want a party. And uh, I'm still, everything's taken care of within the first and month. And do you select your insurance right there with that dude, or how yes. do you do that? Oh, yep. so that's all taken care of right there. Yeah, if you know you can get that done there, or I, you go up to your human resource mm -hmm. woman. And do you bring your her. birth certificate with you there? I think I only had to bring my license was the only thing I had to show, and huh. that was at uh, work. 
and then oh, they start. They send you paperwork. You sign things and send them back. It wasn't a bad process. Right. I'm I'm out Very a year. Soon. Get the hell out of there, Dave. A year, I'm out. Join us in retirement. Oh, you know, get your movie. We <laughs> could be the three amigos of laziness. Right. And there is a line on the new uh, Winnie the Pooh poster. It says, don't underestimate uh, the value of doing nothing. Mm. And that's what I'm doing. I'm listening to Pooh. And we'll see you next time. The New Media Zone has been a Cable 2000 production.